Hey, this is Jay Lee. I just wanted to show you my first atmospheric anomaly here in Moore Park. It's my first one. Oh. Oh, there it is. I actually moved back to Moore Park on August 1st, 2017. It took me about a week to get my act together and to sit down and sky surf and engage in UFO manifestation. I have to admit that I was nervous because it took me two months to see my very first UFO in Silmar. I don't even think I was able to capture the first one over in Silmar because I was shaking like a leaf. Anyway, here's my first one here in Moore Park. I captured it on August 21st, 2017. I used my Panasonic V520 so the resolution isn't the best. I'm still getting my act together and I'll be using my other cameras soon. I just want to let people know that I'm not gifted. I've never been abductive, chipped, or I've never had a near-death experience or out-of-body experience. I believe that some of the people that I've met and known are gifted, but not me. I think that the only thing that makes me special is that they trust me. And I'm not even sure if being trusted is special. I'm just a science guy, a person who's looking for the truth. Logic and critical thinking is very important to me. I also believe that anyone who has seen a UFO is someone they trust. This next one was captured two days later on the 23rd of August. This one looked pretty interesting because it looked and moved like a drone. Although there is no wind on the ground, this one was moving west toward the ocean against the ocean's onshore breeze, which was a giveaway. What was interesting that when I was stabilizing this footage, I noticed that there was a flyby that shot by. This flyby was moving so fast, I had to slow down the footage 95%. So let me break this down for you. The only reason I saw this was because it was close to the same focal distance, which means that the object was approximately the same distance from the camera. Although you could tell it was farther away, I would say it was about two miles. Notice the camera was still trying to focus on it. For those who think that this was a balloon, I measured it. If it was one foot in diameter, it was traveling 790 feet per second or 538 miles per hour. Your balloon was traveling faster than a jet airliner. So I hope you know that balloons are dictated by the laws of physics and this, what you see, is impossible. Denial is a protective instinct. When people hold on to a belief and present them with a competing one, this causes cognitive dissonance. This is like an attack on your thoughts. And to protect itself, the brain reacts emotionally. That emotional reaction can skew thoughts, corrupt logic, and trigger denial. Our emotional brain reacts before our logical brain does. People think that their emotional reaction is just as valid as a factual one. This is why people think that their hypothesis is just as valid as a scientific fact. This is why we shouldn't think of debunkers as anti-science or anti-fact, but instead we should remember that some ideas threaten some people more than others. This third one was captured on Monday, August 28th. This one also looked like a drone, but it was heading north. What you are watching is real time. You have to keep in mind that when you call them, depending on their size, they come within a mile or two. Try to capture them on video or try to take pictures. It's still a far distance away. I just wanted to reassure people that are trying to do this outside the Los Angeles area to continue to call for them to come to your location. This is sky fishing. UFOs come on their own time. According to Robert Bingham, many times they make you wait in order to prepare you for the next level, so stick with it. If you can't come to one of our events and become a friend by proxy, you must become someone they can trust the organic way, by dedication, by getting out there and sticking with it. If you ask me, this will make you a stronger UFO communicator in the long run. So thank you for watching the video. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and stick with it. And I'll see you guys next time.